Hi everybody. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Princess Serenity figure from Mega House. This was originally shown at one of the toy conventions over in Japan and we were super super excited about it. Um, it did get an international release so anybody outside of Japan can purchase this pretty easily. Um, as long as they still have stock, of course. I got this from Circle Red. She was available on Amazon as well for a while. I don't know if it's still on there. It's a possibility. But I think I paid around $12 for her through Circle Red. And I was pretty excited about it. Because that was a pretty good price for an import of this figure. And... If you want one, I say not to purchase one over $20. I think 20, over $20 is paying too much personally, but that's your preference. But here is the box that it comes in. It has a really sturdy box and it's pretty much perfect compared to the other ones, the blind box versions that came out. Anyways, my cat's in here. Um, it does have her name on it in English, which is cool. It says Princess Serenity, Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon. It does have the moon stick you can see, and it's on all sides. The Mega House logo up there. On the bottom and the sides. There is a Toei sticker on the front of these, so I don't know if they ever make any bootlegs, but I guess that'd be a good giveaway if you got an official one. And then on the back, it shows everything that comes in the box. Now, I don't know why, but sometimes when you buy dolls, figures in Japan, they like to give you little things. A lot of the older dolls have cards that you get with them. And that's kind of like what these are. They're just little cards. Um, this one's one of Princess Serenity, of course, and it's kind of anime-like. Um, I think this particular image is from the 10th anniversary, I think. I remember seeing this one before, and I think it was the 10th anniversary, um, products that came out. It had that image on it. And then, of course, you get this nice little photo of the figure itself. It does have Princess Ferny down there with all the copyright. So these are really nice. So this is the figure and she is really nicely detailed. As you can tell her dress has a very pearlesque kind of metallic paint on it. It's bow. It's really, really nice. Her hair has kind of a translucent plastic that it goes into and her hair is two-toned so you can kind of tell that it's a darker yellow and then a lighter yellow around the bangs and she does have a really cute adorable face her stand is pink let me show it to you here it does have a little moon on it with like a little ribbon decoration. There's the bottom. So it's kind of like a really bright pink with a pearl finish. You do get this little charm. And that's what the charm looks like. It's a little moon stick. The paint job on this is questionable. It's not that great, but it is a super, super tiny little charm. I guess they just wanted to give us two to put on a necklace or a keychain, whatever you wanted to. I just kind of put it with her when I have her on display. But she is a really adorable figure. And she fits on the stand just like all the others. But you can easily display her without the stand. One thing cute to mention is she does have her little feet.
So there's the Princess Serenity figure. So definitely let me know what you think of the cute little figure of Princess Serenity. And you can find this online pretty easily. But like I said, they could sell out on various sites. I just recommend to look around before springing for her because she is pretty cheap. So there you go. So please like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you think of her. And I'll see you all next time. All right, bye.